I found it. I found it. I found what I believe to be the most appalling video about language acquisition on YouTube. For the moment, this is the world champion of appalling videos. And it is. Uh, English grammar. Fix your double negatives. English with... Who is it? English with Ronnie, I think. Now, actually, when I first started this channel, I left a, a comment for Ronnie on uh, one of her videos asking her to justify the idea that uh, you could... <laughs> I was very evangelical back then, two, a month ago, two months ago, to justify the idea that you could change your perception of vowel sounds. She never got back to me, but to be fair, these videos get about a thousand comments, so why would she? But... In this video today, she's talking about, you shouldn't say double negatives. I ain't got nothing is wrong. There's a long tradition in grammar of prescriptivism, whereby certain people think you can use laid out grammatical forms to say how a language should be spoken. It takes about three seconds of reflecting on it and to know that it's not, and Ronnie's embarrassed by it, I can tell, because she's so sheepish during the video. That some of the things she says, she's like, is that wrong? Does this make me a racist? <laughs> you can see it. So she says this. She makes reference to the Mick ja to the Rolling Stones song, I Can't Get No Satisfaction, which is interesting because Mike Menner, one of the heroes of this channel at the moment, uh, he also makes reference to that song talking about the same topic and how, well, he's talking about the inherent racism that lies within this. But let's see if Ronnie is mm, a little bit racist. <laughs> So she, some people are like, how dare you? How dare you call Ronnie a racist? I've never met her, but I am willing to stand up for her, even though she said, well, let's see what she said. So she says, what are you teaching us here, Mick Jagger? Good old lips. So one thing I'm going to do is to have, to be very, very, very careful about certain words in English, like the word ain't. I hate this word. She says she hates it. And if someone says the word ain't, and then she does like an impression of, I guess what's meant to be like a hillbilly, then she wouldn't talk to them again. So she's classist, no? She's not gonna talk to people who she believes to be uneducated because they say ain't got no. Yeah, I ain't got nothing. To me, I ain't got nothing. I'm not talking to that person. Probably again. She does say this quite sheepishly because I think in her head she's sort of saying, well, I've, I've got to make this video. I've got to make this. And she has made some quite bizarre videos. Um, I've got to make this video, but is it wrong to say that people are stupid and I never speak to them again because of the way they spoke? Oh, just get on with it, Ronnie. Then she said, maybe you and here's the bit that I think is potentially racist, maybe your favourite rapper uses it a lot. And she never called Mick Jagger stupid for using it. She was just like, Mick, how can you teach us this? But she does say, are they, so st are they stupid? And then she sort of said, she sort of nodded her head and going, yeah, they're probably stupid. Yeah? Cool if they do it. This is where she's backtracking. Backtracking. Yeah? But be careful. You don't. You don't want to be speaking like a rapper. How terrible is that? This is what Mike Nenna says. He says that people come down, prescriptivists, Come down. What is standard language? Who speaks standard language? Does Ronnie? Well, she she sees herself as a standard language speaker. But rappers, 
they speak non-standard language. And you don't want to speak like them because there's something wrong with them. They speak non-standard language. What is it that's wrong with them, Ronnie? Some people go, oh, James, you're reading too much into it. Ronnie just wants to help people. She wants to help people to get jobs by making them feel shitty about themselves, by making them feel really... By creating a world in which some Englishes are right and some Englishes are wrong, and by some people who speak some Englishes are stupid, and who are those people who are stupid? She's perpetuating the reasoning behind not employing certain people. We've spoken about this before. She's not helping people. She is making the people who speak in a certain way responsible for how they speak and saying if they don't want to sound stupid, they should change it. It's racist. It's classist. It's all of those things. James, future multilingual, ready for the debate. Let's see this debate in the comments. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you very, very soon, I hope.